Hello and welcome to the Dragon's Den. And welcome back to Mod Reviews. So I know I haven't been doing these for a while. And uh, I just decided to do another one. So uh, let's get started. I like this place in the night. This mod is called the Skyr. S-K-Y-R. And uh, basically what it does, does is it adds a new dimension into the game. As you can see, it kind of looks like the Aether, uh, but it's uh, much cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get started. This is the, this is just a crazy mod. There's a lot of stuff. It's only an alpha, so if you download it, basically in survival, you can't get here. You have to be in creative. Um, and that's not the only thing. You know, there are a few other things that just have not been implemented yet. So uh, without further ado, let us start. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is the new blocks implemented. This block right here is called the Luxillian block. And it says this is a block of solidified light. Made from the Lux powder, it is a bright light with slight transparency. Mm, transparency. Mm. <laughs> it is made from Lux powder, like it said before, and Lux powder. This is Lux powder. And how you get Lux powder is you mine this Lux Lux ore, not Luxillion, but Lux ore. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. And you you go ahead and mine it, and you get experience and you get this Lux powder when and you get I think two to four per per mining thing so uh yeah that is the Lux powder and the Lux ore all right the next thing is the granite tools sword weapons things like that <laughs> granite tools slash sword basic tools of the sky are Made from granite granite and sticks, a bit more efficiency than stone, but also lower durability. And, yeah, you make them exactly the same, but instead of uh, stone or iron, you use granite. And these things are amazing. Just amazing. And granite will be implement implemented a little bit later. So, uh, you're gonna have to update the mod if you do download this. You're gonna have to update periodically if you want the newest stuff. Uh, yeah, so you just saw me use the granite pickaxe. 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 But I want to show you what this granite pickaxe, 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 does to, gr or does to dirt. Or, not, not all dirt. It's, uh, just grass, I think. I'm not sure if it does that with, uh, normal grass up here. Let's test it out. Let's place some. Because this is, in fact, a different kind of grass than, uh... No. The... The granite pickaxe, probably a bug, mines this grass really, really fast. Uh, like, crazy fast. <laughs> but, it, uh, normal stuff, it's, it's better than stone. Um, but not as much durability yeah so there's that probably fix this and uh how about uh right now and uh bam done presto <laughs> all right and like i said the all the tools made the same exact way so uh yeah that those are the granite tools and sword all right the next thing is the electric whip, which is another another weapon. Let me go ahead and, and turn it to normal. And let the only mobs so far spawn in. So here we have the jellyfish. And the jellyfish later will be will drop the electric coils, which you can make into the electric whip. Now if these guys attack you uh, if you hit one of these guys, they're all gonna come after you. Like, uh, what else does that? Zombie pigmen. So, that, there's that. And also, when they hit you, you will become electrocuted. And 
or for a little while, and that's exactly what this electric whip does, even though it cannot be made and everything. Uh, so just hit this guy, and see, he's just he's just dying, and uh, yeah. But uh, that guy's a little too far away. To be oh, here he comes. Is he? Are you attacking? Hello? Hello? No? I guess not. Maybe because I'm in creative mode. Or because I'm hitting them with the whip. <laughs> but uh, these guys get so annoying because they spawn so much. And they spawn in this stuff. The skyweed, I think. That's uh, that's right here. Skyweed, yes. The skyweed just spawns randomly throughout the world. And uh, all it does is just allow a place for these guys to spawn. That's, that's all it does. And the next thing is actually pomegranates. Which will be dropped from apple grenade bushes, which are not implemented again. There's a lot of stuff that is not implemented, so uh, just bear with me. Because there's, there's just a lot that you can't do yet. But it's really cool. It's really cool anyway. Um, then, blue slime balls, which means there are going to be blue slimes in the sky. Because, uh, who doesn't want blue slimes? Also, if you combine a green, like a normal slime ball, with a blue slime ball, it will give you two blue slime balls. So, basically, you can have as many blue slime balls as you want if you have the right number of green slime balls. And the next thing is air powder, which says this powder drops from the floating clouds. No, no use as of yet, but it will later on. So, there will probably be a mob up there that's called floating clouds. And, uh, that's what that, that's what they will drop. Alright, the next thing is the grenade apples. And you take a pomegranate and a gunpowder and you will get the grenade apple, which is bugged right now, so you cannot actually make it. But, uh, yeah. The next thing is the Luxillian torch, which isn't completed yet, but it does in fact make it. But there's no texture here. If I do take this out, that's what these things are, Luxillian torches. Um... Just place them around. That it works. Everything. The only thing that doesn't work is the texture that is right here in your inventory. So uh, yeah, and you make it with a lux powder and one stick. All right. The next thing is cooked squirrel meat, or just squirrel meat as well. <laughs> the squirrel meat will be dropped by squirrels, which are not implemented either. But once you cook the squirrel meat, it does not work right now because <laughs> I just tested it. Uh, you would get the cooked squirrel meat. And it heals you for more food. Drop, okay. The squirrel meat says this, nope, nope. This drops from squirrels and heals you 0.5 hearts raw and 1.5 hearts cooked. So, uh, hearts, not hunger, I guess. And then, uh, the next thing, things, are nuts and baked nuts. Nuts are also dropped from the squirrels in chunks of two to five, so you get two to five nuts. They are throwable, but deals no damage, and it is used to lure mobs, can be cooked into baked nuts that heals you one heart, so this, these would heal you one heart. Uh, but these do not, in fact, you do not eat these. All you do, you throw them, and you can lure mobs that way, like maybe there's a skeleton over there, bam! And then he comes and attacks you. Or falls off the cliff and dies, that would be nice. Ah, uh, daytime. I just... Oh, God, I'm in survival. <laughs> yep. That's what happens when you have pressure plate command this blocks. This is a transition. Okay, the next thing is these floating trees, which will spawn randomly throughout the world. And basically, they just they just float. And it you there's this Azurian wood. Also, there is a Skyer tab so you can you can just get all your stuff when you're in creative mode uh, and this last thing is also not done yet they are the corrupted stone seeds which you cannot place on this grass for some odd reason get out of here but you can place on basically anything else and what it will do is it says drops from the corrupted stone which probably will be implemented later and so the texture is bugged but uh, drops from corrupted stone 
You can plant it on any block except grass, like I said. And it will poison every mob, including the player, in a one block around it. And it will slowly corrupt the blocks around it, starting with the one being planting on, plant, planted on, converting them into corrupted stone. So basically, you can farm these things and uh, just have them surrounding your house. So nothing will... God dang it, you stupid... No. Bad jellyfish. <sighs> uh... Put this in the chest over here. Uh, yeah, and this is your jellyfish, which is spawn entity dot field of dimensions underscore sky or dimension dot jellyfish. God dang it. Dot name. So, yeah, I'm gonna spawn these guys. No. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, I hope to see you next time, even though there's a lot of fire. Ah, what is this? Go away. It's from the jellyfish. They're so annoying. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Celebratory music right now. And I hope to see you next time for another mod showcase. Also, I have one quick update for my channel. I am one of the founders of a new streaming channel thing. Um, and it is called Arcfire TV. So... Kaz and another friend of mine have started this thing, Arcfire TV, where we stream every single day. Not not all of us. We each have one day or two to stream. And we've got Kaz, um, my other friend, me, and Seabarks right now. We all stream. Seabarks gets a certain day. I will, uh, I should show you right now. Here, I'm going to show you right now the uh the streaming channel okay here we are at the channel and the, we are on twitch yes i will put a link in the description to the twitter the youtube and this twitch.tv slash arcfire tv um so put all those links in the description so you can go check this out and today althrin which is my friend, played uh, Des Dead Space 3. So we play a lot of different games, not just Minecraft. I, I We haven't done Minecraft on this yet. We will, but rarely, because we're going to... I'm I'm going to be doing Don't Starve on Sunday as well. So I've decided that on my channel, if you look in the description, it says daily videos and or streams every day, which means if I'm streaming on this channel you might not see a video on my on uh, the Dragon's Den. It would be on Arcfire Gaming. So that's that. We will change the schedule every two weeks and I'll keep you guys updated. But as you can see at the top, it's Tuesday. I am doing Tuesdays and Sundays right now. So please go check us out because we we've got a few followers. We've got three right now. And... Just hopefully, hopefully, we can just get a bunch of followers and everything, and just, just do amazing stuff. Yeah, that's it. Follow me on Twitter, and also Arcfire TV on Twitter, to know when we, what time we are streaming and everything. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I should see you next video. Bye.